What's up Jujutsu nerds? Welcome back to the Matrix channel. In this video, I want to talk about two things. The first is how to roll with an injury or how to come back from a more serious injury. I came back from a meniscus surgery. Uh, this is five weeks after surgery now and um, I started rolling three days before this was recorded, but just positional sparring from close guard. And this was also the topic I, I was teaching for the last four weeks. And um, yeah, it, pr pretty interesting because um, I couldn't drill. Uh, I just showed the moves or let a student show the move. But I thought a lot about close guard. I did a lot of research. And of course, we have a great close guard system that we use in our school that our head coach um, came up with. And here's the funny thing. He came up with this when he had a, a ankle injury and he couldn't do um, anything else than close guard. So he came up with a really, really nice flower guard system. And you can see that on our YouTube channel, check that out. Here we had one of the things he does, he does from there, we do from there. And that is the, the sweep when people stand up, but we get the scoop grip. Uh, very, very, very good stuff. It works so well. And you can also go into leg locks from there, obviously, but I avoid that for now because of the knee. Um, this is very, very, very nice too. You, you try to hip bump them, they post the arm and then you go into a triangle. But um, I don't trust my, my triangles um, that much for now. So, um, but it works. He posted the hand. You can see the triangle was available. Um, Lucas is super, super strong. He's an industrial climber, that's his job. So his arm strength, his grip strength is insane. Uh, it's very, very interesting to work with him in, in close guard because he has strong grips. So um, I choose close guard because there's literally no pressure on my knee in, uh, for the most part. Works very well for me. Super good way to get back into rolling get the cardio back. Um, also, you get better. That's my main point here, maybe. Um, for choosing close guard as a topic, I was able to get better even when I wasn't training because I focused on that position a lot. And when I did the first round of, of positional sparring, like three days before this was recorded, I, re I realized that my close guard got better just from thinking about it, visualizing and teaching it and seeing other people trying to apply it. Also the kids in, in kids class. Um, because there you have to break it down to, to the really essential things so they can understand. And that helps a lot, it helps a lot. So one of the big, big parts of our close guard system is we try to get scoop grips because what you want in close guard is angular advantage and you wanna break their posture down. So you want an angle and you want broken posture. And scoop grips, with a head control or or um, latissimus control, lat control, works very well for that in nogi. Um, very often, if you get the scoop grip and they posture up, you get the sweep or the leg lock attempt. Again, watch the flower guard system from head coach Randy Becker and you're gonna see that. Here again, I, I attempt this off balance to triangle um, and I switch into, into a scoop grip from here too. So, and get a nice armbar from here, super tight armbar. It's off the camera angle, but um, it's a multi-attacking system. You know, as John Denneher always says, create dilemmas, not just problems. So, um, also why I picked close guard as a topic is, you, you always see on kids tournaments, when you see your kids fight, you see how important close guard is. It's almost everything. After takedowns it, and guard passing, close guard might be the most important topic. Uh, that The same counts for white and blue belt level competition. Depends on the level of the blue belt spot. In training, everybody's really relaxed and plays a lot of open guard. But on tournaments, that changes. People keep their close guard for dear life. And um, you have to be good in that position. Another reason is nobody plays much much close guard nowadays. And I think there will be a renaissance uh, of the close guard because it's a freaking good attacking position, but you need a good system there. You need to know what to do. My close guard was one of my weak points before these four weeks now. It still is not where I want it to be. Here you see again a scoop grip and I go for the angle, 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 and then you always can attack, man. That's all you need, you need an angle. This time it's a belly down armbar. It depends on your opponent, how he's reacting. You have to feel it, what is better. 
and um, yeah, let's get back to the to the tournament tournaments. So um, if you have a good close card, it helps a lot because sometimes people take you down. It's, it's one minute left. They stall in your close card. They're up one point, and you're desperately trying to make something work, but your close card is not good enough. You can just stall it out. He does a uh, mistake. That's another thing, you know. If your close guard is good, and they cannot break out easy, they're gonna risk more. So here he he tried. I don't know. He tried to pin my arm, and then he gave me his back. So that's happening also. And uh, I think what I uh, wanted to say before was um, my close guard is. I I didn't really trust my close guard, or when I felt that I can't attack really well. I open my guard and then they stand up and pass, you know, then you have just an open guard again. So there's nothing nothing wrong about open guard, but if you have close guard, get good from there, attack from there. And um, yeah, if you get frustrated with your own close guard, you open, they can pass. If your close guard is good, you keep them closed. They get frustrated and your job's even easier. Now James comes in, um, he also stronger than me. Uh, scoop grab right away here. So trying to get the angle, as you can see, get a scoop grip deeper. You want that elbow deep. I always tell people to go ear to the knee. And now he doesn't pay attention. I love clamp guard, by the way, from close guard. And I always um, try to attack the arm also, not just the obvious triangle and stuff like that. Um, what doesn't happen in this video is that people try to avoid my um, sc uh, scoop grips by sprawling their leg out because then we do something really interesting. We switch to a clamp system, like shoulder clamp system. Uh, this is all also in the video of our head coach. Uh, it's a three part video series. You can watch it on the channel for free. So I highly recommend that. Mm, let's see what happens here. Again, James chooses to have uh, the low poster. Now he tries to grip fight. Grip fight is major as always. Um, I try to hold him down and try to get uh, underhook, but it doesn't work. He keeps the arms too close. So I switch to... Um... Oh, okay. I made a video on this. This is something uh, I really like to get uh, Kimuras from. So um, I grab the wrist and use my knee on the same side. The knee goes up towards my shoulder and my hand pushes the wrist down. So that creates the angle in the arm I need. Then I kick it back and grab the Kimura. I have a video on that on the channel. Check it out. It's about getting Kimuras from close guard. I think here I do the same thing again. You can't believe it. <laughs> um, and obviously you just go for a sweep. If, if you can't muscle the Kimura out or get the Kimura because they're too strong, you just turn it into a hip pump sweep. It's easy. Or go back to the Kimura. It's, it's a back and forth there. So you should never be stubborn. Um, if you're stubborn, it's always bad. Also in real life, right? Nobody likes stubborn people. Me neither. <laughs> um, yeah, there's always triangles also if you have a Kimura and there's always a Kimura if you have a triangle, most of the time, or an armbar. Let's see, go again. I, I also like using um, body, lock, uh, body triangle in the close guard, but I can't for now because of the knee. Don't want to risk anything. Here he gives me a simple underhook again. Boom, here's the um, clamp guard, love this. Also played around with Williams guard a lot lately. Um, I must say Williams guard is cool, I like it, I use it too. But I think if one of the two is enough, so clamp guard or Williams guard, specialized of one, on one of the two, they more or less have the same, um, the same, you, you try to accomplish the same things with both, keeping the angle, not letting them square up to you anymore again, and um, keep them down. So both guards are very, very effective, very good. Armbar again. Yeah, it's really, my knee doesn't even hurt a bit if I play close guard, so it's really great, great way to start rolling. Again, he gives me this grip. James, don't be so lazy. There's a clamp guard again, and then you finish the arm straight or as a, with a Kimura grip. Let's see what happens now. Don't give me this grip again. I, th I, I wanted to go for a new choke. I recently saw a video yesterday on Instagram, and this thing works, man. If they push the arm low, you get a Kimura. It's really interesting. Gonna keep playing around with this. Really good idea. 
yeah, and also attempt the Kimura, he knows it. I go to threaten the, the um, choke, he defends it. I grab a chin strap, go for the sweep, doesn't work. There's the triangle again. So that's how you need to attack, guys. If you want to get more advanced, you have to chain your attacks together. If you want to tap people that are above blue belt level and you are not able to chain your attacks together, good luck. If you're not stronger and more athletic and whatnot, good luck with that. But I'm getting older, I am not the heaviest, I'm not the strongest, so I have to use timing and finesse. Um, and that's my main thing I'm, I'm, I'm working on right now. Having good systems, knowing what to do. And that's a scoop group again. And that's a very nice uh, sweep uh, from there. Again, watch the tutorial of Rene. He explains this. It's, it's great. It's a great sweep from there. And people don't see it coming. All right. I think the clock is ticking. You see what happens if I rush things. My guard opens. <laughs> Still the old habit because I think it's like five seconds left or so right now. Uh, scoop grip. Can I get it? Angle. There again, if you would have pulled the arm out and posted it up, there's still the sweep and the leg attack. It's really great. Aaron Millen um, does that. It's his uh, squirrel guard. So you have to pull the knee very close to your elbow. Otherwise, you can get attacked um, with a leg lock. And he's he's very good in this too. By the way, he's coming to our school again. I think it's the 6th of July to teach a seminar. Aaron is a genius. You should totally visit that seminar for sure. I think I'm going to wrap it up for now. We're going to have some more roles, but I'm going to do part two so you guys get not too bored with it. I may even record um, some more close guard roles and uh, then we see what happens there because there's many, many things that we didn't see in these roles and everybody reacts differently. So see you later. Please subscribe to the channel and uh, give us a give us a thumbs up if you like it. And check out our other videos. Peace.